Exercise number one in our chest series is a dumbbell chest press. Take the dumbbells out in front of your chest with feet flat and core braced. Rotate the palms to face slightly towards your knees with hands apart. Inhale, bring your elbows down to the floor. Exhale, press up and together. Inhale down, exhale up. You don't want your elbows to be directly in the line of your shoulder. Rather, you want those dumbbells and elbows to be just under the shoulder here is more comfortable on that shoulder joint. If you've got a bench you can lie on, this would be an ideal exercise and you can take the elbows beyond the bench or beyond the line of the shoulder. One more. All right, coming up to seated position, pop your dumbbells down. Exercise number two is an incline push-up. So grab yourself an elevated surface. Place your hands as wide as you can on that surface. So if you've got a wider bench, that's a good idea, or a couch, or your hands can just be under the shoulders like mine here. Start with the knees on the floor, eyes forward and ab braced. We inhale down, exhale back up again. Inhale down, exhale up. If you can do this on your feet, go ahead and hold a plank position here. Press through all five fingers as you come down and come up again. This is a challenging one for me, I'm on a narrower bench, but you might have a wider bench, so it will be harder on the chest. Whereas with the narrow hands, you work the chest and shoulders, but you're still targeting the triceps a bit more than the chest here. Well done, okay, exercise number three. We're gonna lie on our back again here and do a dumbbell chest fly. So go ahead and take those dumbbells, palms facing in, soften your elbows and rotate your wrists inwards slightly, creating a boomerang-like arm shape. Inhale, take those elbows and hands way out the side to the floor. Exhale, back up. So your elbows touch the floor, but your hands don't. You can have a slight arch in your mid-back here, but brace the abdominals throughout. So it's like you're hugging, doing a hugging movement as you come back up and together. Again, you could lie on a bench to do this and take the elbows down beyond the shoulders or beyond the bench for a good chest and shoulder stretch. Inhale down, exhale up, one more. Coming up to seated position, turning over. We've got normal push-ups, so don't fear, you will get better at the push-ups if it's something you struggle with now. Let's start with our knees hip distance apart, hands as wide as your mat. I like to put the little finger on the edge of the mat. Tuck the tailbone underneath you, and inhale as you come forward and down, Exhale back up. So if you can only go halfway down, that's fine. But think about shoulders down away from your ears, shoulder blades squeezing together, and those elbows point back towards your hips. We're already halfway there, keep going. Inhale down, exhale back up. Push the floor down away from you. Okay, two more big ones all the way down, all the way up, and last one. Well done, we will get better at those. Hey, you can always do them on your feet if you found that quite easy. Turning over and hold a dumbbell in your left hand. Feet flat on the floor, your right arm is by your hip and we're going to turn the dumbbell in slightly. So not this way, not that way, somewhere in between. So single arm chest press with your left arm, inhale down, exhale back up, inhale down, Exhale back up. So the elbow comes just under the shoulder, not in line with the shoulder, but just underneath it. Feeling a little stretch through the shoulders or the shoulder on the left and push back up. As you push back up, squeeze the tricep and at all times we brace the abdominals. You've got 15 seconds to go. Push. So it's good to see whether the left or right side is stronger than the other here. Let's do one more repetition. 
Well done. So bring the dumbbell down into your body to switch it over rather than switching it over above your head and risk dropping it on your face or chest. So switch it over down here, safer. Push back up and make sure your hand is in the center of the dumbbell, not at either end like that or that. Turn in slightly, brace with the left hand, inhale down, exhale up and together. Again, a good exercise you can do on the bench with your feet flat on the floor if you have one. And the first time you do these exercises, you might find out that you used a dumbbell that was too light and the exercises were too easy for you. That's okay. And the next um, time you do this workout, just use a heavier dumbbell. Eight seconds to go. One more repetition, push up straight with the arm and come up to seated position for dips. So we'll use a step box, a couch, a bench, anything you can find. Place your palms either facing inwards or um, palms facing toward the back of the room, it's up to you. You're going to walk your feet forward, bring your hips just off the edge of the mat so you're supporting all the weight in the heel of the hand. Inhale down, bending the elbows, exhale up. So I'm pointing my elbows to the back of the room, pushing through the legs and pushing through the heel of the hand to target the front of the chest, the shoulders, and also the back of the arms. From a side profile, it looks like this. Now, you could do this one with straight legs if you prefer. So coming down, and coming up, but keep your bottom close to the bench. One more big one. Well done. Back down to the mat, two more exercises to go. So we're going to lie down on our back and do a co-contraction for our chest fly. So that's palms straight, uh, palms facing inwards, elbows soft. And from here, left arm comes out and down as the right arm stays in position. And then we do the same with the right arm. So it's that boomerang arm position, a slight bend in the elbow, and then a hugging movement at the top. Okay, take the arm a little bit wider out the side if you can, feeling a gentle stretch through the shoulder. Inhale down, exhale back up. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, last two, make sure you finish off on the opposite side to which you started. So for me, that's the right arm and relax. So bring the dumbbells into chest. Sorry, it's two more exercises to go now. The next one is called a hammer chest press. So from here, this is our hammer grip. We're pushing the dumbbells together. Inhale, draw the elbows in beside your body. Exhale, push the hands Dumbbells together, extend your arms. Inhale down, touch the chest, exhale up. So you're pushing those elbows out straight and then bending them towards um, the floor, keeping your core braced. Push. Starting to feel the front of the shoulders and the chest a bit more, maybe also the triceps, which we will commonly feel in most pressing movements. Okay, 10 seconds to go. You can do three more reps, then we're on to our very last exercise in this chest series. Well done, okay, best for last. Turning over. This is how we get really strong at our push-ups. So this one's called eccentric accentuated push-ups. For a mouthful, but we'll get there. So nice wide hands, feet have distance apart. We're going to come down as slow as we can all the way onto our tummy. So we accentuate the eccentric phase. Okay, and then we come up on our knees and then back to feet. Inhale, slowly down as slow as you can go. Exhale, back up. Now, if you can come up on your feet, do so. But we're accentuating the eccentric or the lowering phase. And that's a really good way of getting strong. So the whole way down, you're fighting gravity. You're pushing the floor away from you, lowering your body down slow. 
Well done. Thanks for joining me for our chest series. See you in the next one.